Hi everyone, this is a video review of the Beyblade Burst Quad Strike Flame Pandora Everlasting P8. Let me show you the sides of the box. I got this at Ross, just like with my other Quad Strike Bays. As you can see, this is a balance type, and in its core, in its plus mode, And without the armored tip, it's an attack type. So let's get this opened. Let's see how cool it actually is. All right, here it is opened up and all packaging. I only like this flame effect around the bay. I wonder if it, it's actual fire. In the cartoon, I mean, if these uh, flame looking outer right, outer right, I wonder if this is actually fire in the cartoon or it just uh, burns up in the anime. Like the ghost in the middle, you get a nice, I got the, uh, the plus tip. Actually, a different color than the outer ring. So, I get this really nice uh, white ring here. So, I'm going to test this out in a match. And to do that, we're going to compare it to a very similar bay, which is the Bolt Spryzen. And this is also. A balance uh, type in its plus mode and an attack type without the plus tip. So the only difference is that this spins in an opposite direction. So let's get the stadium out, and see how well these do against each other. Now, if this is the stuff, if this is the first. Beyblade, oh, sorry, my words are getting jumbled up. If this is the first Beyblade review of mine you've seen, I should tell you that I don't actually use the launcher included. I think it's, I prefer the string launcher uh, for several reasons. Uh, the it's, It works with a grip, it's more comfortable, the string... Retract so I don't have to keep constantly putting the ripcord in. And also, it works consistently. I've used this for, I've tested this out a lot. It still works just as good as the day I bought it. So I, I mean, just the day. I mean, works just as good as the day I got it from Amazon. So let's test these out. All right, so. Bolt surprise it. it's a left spin. A, this is a right spin. So. I actually use two different string launchers here. Right. Let's go. seem to be evenly matched, so let's get these both into attack type. When testing attack types, I like hitting bays that go in opposite directions. That way they're not, that way they're not like uh, swirling in the same direction and never touching each other on stadium, so... And what's I find the way this tip looks is pretty interesting. It's in this sort of star, more of a star shape, not quite like the rubber flat tips I was used to seeing in 
Metal Fusion attack types like Eldrago and Storm Pegasus. So, not. so these will actually be even more aggressive. So theoretically, these should actually clash even more aggressively. And I look forward to seeing... All the colliding they'll do once we get these in the stadium. Um, all right, so bolts resin. So we're gonna that's the re we actually use two different launchers. That way, I don't have to like uh, put launch one and then put another one back on, then twist it all the way, and then have to. Uh, pull it, you just go immediately and use the other one because it really does affect which bay wins. It, uh, well, when I get to start reviewing some of the metal fusion stuff, I'll probably just use one string launcher because it doesn't really affect because those bays are much tougher, it doesn't really affect how well they do against each other. Anyways, let's continue. The this was right spin. I'm using a tw twist this here. And then we're gonna. Okay. Let's, Let's start here. Once again, these are evenly matched. Uh, we might how about we try this in reverse order? See if anything changes. Um, but theoretically, these are pretty much uh, should be even. They pretty much do the same thing. They're both um, balance attack types. So let's try. Right out now with the bolt surprise and launched second. Okay, so it's still pretty much. You know, we'll try this again just for fun. Because I really like seeing these two. Collide very collide repeatedly. This time I'm going to do more of a. I'm going to tilt this bay a bit. No, actually, I'm just going to pull the string a bit harder. This. Um, so it doesn't, it's not stuck in the middle, so it doesn't, it's the right, so the other bay doesn't collide on top of it when I launch it. Right, uh, let's see, these are just really even. I guess it's... I guess if you want to make a stadium set with two evenly matched bays, these would probably be good choices for Haztac to use. And... So we're going to switch the heights next, so so we're going to switch these into Apex Miller and we'll see if they're still even with each other. I think they probably still will be, but I haven't tested it all. 
this in apex mode at all before this video, so. It's, it's really fun to see these. Go at it. Let's see if you want to pick one of the the ones I've seen, quad strike bays, I've seen at Ross, if you want to get, if you can only get two, uh, I'd say get these two. They're not to play against other people, but just for, just because it's so fun watching. These two clash. You're in there. Alright, it's, let's see, okay, see if these two are still evenly matched with each other, and I do, like, I prefer to twist this all the way, holding the weight ring, so I know it's, like, locked into place, because I don't want either bay to... First, it's kind of weird because I, because uh, I bought, cause the only bays I bought were burst at Ross. If they had like metal, if they still, if they had the metal stuff, the metal gen available, I'd buy that too. Then, all right, so let's do this then. I thought Pandora was going to win when it started toppling, but it seems to be, still seems like a pretty close match. So let's do this again. So I'm going to rev these up. I'm going to launch them the same way now. Red one, I mean, Bolt Spryzen seems more wobbly. Seems. But, right. But even though it was more wobbly, it was still pretty close. The Flame Hender uh, just stopped like a split second after Bolt Spryzen. So let's change the order and see if uh, Bolt Spryzen actually does. Um, have a more definitive win here. So let's get. Yeah, I think Waltz. We'll get these in apex mode. It seems like Waltz Bryson is the better of the two. So let's. The um, good the plus tips back on. Let's get them both into Apex Plus mode, and we'll see if what happens there. Um, all right. Alright, launch this here. First, I'll do the launch the left spin, the bolt surprise in first. So let's do this. Horizon seems like it's wobbling, but I don't think it's over. Just one. So, 
yeah, it's kind of weird. So, despite Walt Spryzen being starting out wobbly eventually uh, became upright later and won, it's kind of weird. <laughs> Seems like the only thing that happens in you think that sort of thing only happens in the anime, but it looks like it just happened in the last uh, battle they had. So let's try it. So we're going to try it the exact same way again. Launch Bolt Spies in first, and then Flame Pandora. wobbling, but it's not over yet. Okay, it seems to be evenly matched, so let's try it again. And at some point, I think we'll probably launch the bolt surprise in second. Make sure it's the better of the two. Nice. For now, we'll just Launch it the same way again. Oh, now it's Pandora that's wobbling. It's not too still, too soon to call. All right, Flame Pandora won this time, but just barely. So let's just launch the Bolt Surprise in a second. Be sure that's the stronger of the two when they're in their Apex Plus mode. So, wind this up. Um, if you're using the same string launcher, you can sort of tell that uh, it's winded all the way when you see the handle wiggling. Um, so, yeah, that's a good time to stop because you, I don't want this black piece breaking or to force the gears to uh, spin. I mean, change position with without pulling the string. So let's launch this first and then bolt surprise in. Pandora first. And Bolt Surprise. Still going at it very aggressively. Yeah, so I think Bolt Spryzen is definitely the better of the two when we got them in their Apex modes. But these are still very evenly matched. Um, and in their car modes, and even in their Apex modes, the Spryzen still stops spinning a few seconds after Flame... Pandora. Not sure how these do against other bays, but it's very entertaining to see these clash. And I think if you would have any two bays, any two of the quad strike bays, I've found at Ross. I think these are the ones to pick up in addition to the uh, quad strike Stadium, if you're like me and just want to see Bays uh, not get knocked out and just keep colliding to death 
And this is a quite a wide stadium. I really love seeing these two bays. Uh, Clyde in one spot, and then another spot, and colliding with each other all over the place in this wide stadium. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's it for my review. Bye.